It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, and on Sundays, my girls and I like to get together just to unwind a little bit, um, distress from the week, and get ready for the week ahead. And um, so they're coming over, and I thought it would be a great idea to have them work out with me as a way to support me through this journey. Holly is coming over, and she's going to kick all of our butts um, to get into shape. Um, and I think it's going to be a really, really fun time. And it would be a great way to do to get the calories, to burn the calories um, for what we usually do on our Sunday hangouts, which is eat and drink quite a bit. Um, I did mention this to Holly during a few of our workouts, um, and alcohol is, is not really a great thing to be consuming when you're trying to lose weight. So Holly did mention she had something that uh, she wanted to share that could help um, in lowering the amount of calories that that alcohol usually, you know, adds to the food diary. So, but for now, Holly's on her way over and the girls are on their way over and we are going to have an awesome workout. So I'm looking forward to it. Just about your social support system, because it's okay. really important, I'm sure you know, to have friends, family, coworkers, people that kind of get what you're doing mm -hmm. and aren't trying to sabotage it or just don't know and they're kind of pushing things on you that make it hard for you to prevent weight loss. Right. So who would you say is sort of your, your social support in this weight loss journey? The girls are really amazing. Um, I have such a great time when we get together, and, and we do get, you know, we try to get together at least once a week, you know. And Dave is super supportive. However, we're still doing a lot of takeout during the week. He's still giving in to my, oh, I need a sugar, like a, a cookie, or you know, I need something to fix my sugar fixing. So, works pretty good. Um, the support that I'm getting there is pretty good. What's been tricky is sometimes we'll go to lunch. And then it's the tricky, you know, of finding finding foods that I need to be eating, uh, or lunch meetings will happen. That's also a little tricky as well. Um, yeah, so there's, you know, room for improvement, but there's support there. Well, that sounds about normal. You know, you're always going to have some people who really support you and get it, and there's always going to be those people who just want to help you, or you know, maybe they don't understand it. So. <laughs> That'll be really important to continue to just work on getting support from all of those different groups that you have. So, you know, with Dave, maybe it's continuing for us to talk about how to even just choose healthy takeout. You know, like if you're going to have to do takeout, you know, you don't want to necessarily be having to change his whole life too. Like he didn't right. sign on for the journey. So, right. um, you know, just working out how you guys can pick some good healthy food so you can still do that together, but still have you know, him yeah. feeling like he's supporting you and allowing you to eat healthy foods. And, um, you know, at work, it's gonna be really important to continue just prepping your foods, having your lunches, having your snacks. So even if a coworker wants to go out to lunch, you can grab your food container. Yeah. Like you can be that kind of awkward person who just yeah. takes your food with you. Um, and if they know you're in the middle of this, they'll understand that it's yeah. a, you know, a little bit of a sacrifice that you're making for a time. Yeah. Um, so important to vocalize those needs that you have to people. And with your girlfriends, you know, they're coming over right now. We're going to hang out later tonight and kind of talk about how we can, you know, maybe support you a little bit better and cut down on some of the alcohol and kind of change the way that we hang out a little bit. So, right. actually, yes, I think I hear them coming in right I, now. So. I do. That's All right, so we'll go grab event. them. We'll go work out okay. and then we'll finish that discussion with them later. Okay. ladies again for coming over today. I know this is your normal kind of Sunday, would be sun, your Sunday night hangout with drinks and whatever else you guys do during those times, but I appreciate you coming over early to get in a workout with Diane and support her in that way. That's really cool. Um, so we'll get to that soon, but I kind of wanted to find out what you guys think about this whole journey and Diane going through this process in general and then also kind of publicly for everyone to see. I'm very proud of her. I mean, it takes a lot to, you know, really put yourself out there. And since, you know, it's like on the internet, like everyone's going to be watching. So I think it's very brave of her to be doing something like that. Uh, yeah, and I think it gives her an extra sense of accountability. Like she's got her friends and family she doesn't want to disappoint, but then also like this internet following that she wants to show that, you know, she's doing the progress and doing the work. And so I think it's really great that she's doing it out in the public. 
the biggest challenge for me, even though I'm very, I'm, I am very excited about the months coming and what I've experienced so far and seeing the weight come off. Um, but there is this little part in the back of my head, this like, you know, the accountability part because it is out there for the public to see and I've gotten so much support from everybody. I'm afraid that I don't get to that goal or, you know, I don't want to disappoint everyone. Um, but I have noticed the changes and I'm wondering if you guys have seen any changes in me. Absolutely. I mean, we've been discussing it. Like, you definitely look like you've lost weight. Like, you are actually a lot smaller than you have been in previous months. So you definitely see a physical change um, after this journey, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and I also think that she has a lot more energy, which has been nice. Um, she already has a lot of energy, but it's good to see that she's got even more now. Excited. And you're so, yeah, already full good. of energy and enthusiasm. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the Energizer Bunny now. Yeah. How about you? Like, what changes have you felt in yourself? I've definitely noticed changes. I def I feel a lot tighter, and I'm seeing definition in my arms is where I see it the most. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely notice. I notice that a lot. My biggest struggle in the past week has been seeing the scale kind of go up and down everywhere but um, it, and I was worried that I was gaining gaining the weight back but we did a measurement um, and when uh, when the numbers came out I had lost half an inch or an inch yeah, some, at some places yeah so but, what about maybe a little harder question what are you guys doing to support her well I do definitely try to go over her place and do the stairs with her mm -hmm. and then I try to you know schedule yoga sessions with her for our mm -hmm. hot yoga classes because we go okay, to the same cool. studio and I also put them all in very tight dresses as well she did she did, <laughs> she did do that those bridesmaid dresses are motivating for sure yeah, yeah. we're in it together <laughs> she did it on purpose I she did, did. <laughs> but they look great <laughs> they will <laughs> Grab your water bottles. Now All we're right. gonna head over to the park and get this workout in. All right. All right. Um, so I just wanna make sure in this workout, everyone's working out as hard as you can. Put in your best effort. There's multiple kinds of weights here. Don't necessarily go with the easiest weight just because you can. I wanna challenge you guys to push yourselves work towards those bridesmaids dresses and looking great at the wedding. Um, and just kind of keep in mind, like I've shared with Diane, it's really helpful to make proactive choices before, you know, if you know you're gonna be eating out and drinking and things, wanna take this opportunity to burn as many calories as possible before you go and do all that and kind of make some room to fit that in so it doesn't totally derail your diet or increase your weight. So with that, let me tell you what we're gonna be doing. Okay. All right, so today's workout is gonna be basically a circuit style workout, high intensity. So you're gonna be moving from one station to the next, no rest in between. We're gonna do 45 seconds per station and you're gonna be working with partners. So we'll go through the whole circuit, then I'll give you about a minute to rest and then we're gonna go through the whole thing again. So the idea is you're gonna be working out your full body, taxing your cardio system by all of the up and down and the multiple joint movements where you're working out your legs and your arms and everything at the same time, all right? All right, so let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, so the first exercise is gonna be a reverse lunge, and then you're gonna toss the medicine ball to your partner. So what's gonna happen is you're going back with one leg, lunging, stepping up, and then tossing it to your partner. They're gonna do the same thing. Stand up, toss, and the next one, go back with the other leg. So you're alternating legs each time. All right, so the next one is gonna be a Russian twist, which is for your core with your partner. So what you're gonna do is lift your feet up off the ground. If you absolutely can't, then you can set your feet on the ground, but just make sure you're staying leaning back at about a 45 degree angle. But ideally, you want your feet up off the ground, balls in your hand, you're gonna go out, in, out, and then toss it to your partner. And they go out, in, out, and toss it back. Okay. All right, so the next one is gonna be a squat to press. You've got three different size dumbbells here, so you can choose what you feel like is best for you. We've got seven, eight, and 10. So what you're gonna do with these, you're gonna be standing about shoulder distance apart with your feet. Weights are at your shoulders. Keep your core tight and engaged. You're gonna sit down and back, pressing your butt backwards and pressing up through your heels, and you're gonna stand up and press the weight straight up overhead. Palms stay facing in the whole time, right back down, and then down to the squat and press, okay? 
So you guys can just do this kind of facing each other. You can keep each other motivated. If you really don't want to, you can do it side to side. We can go facing each other. You're just doing it at the same time. So this one, you're not working together. You're just doing the same thing at the same time. All right, so on this mat, we're gonna be doing burpees. So I'm gonna have you guys doing this off to the end so we don't hit each other here. So I'll have you show with me. I'm gonna come to this end. Sorry if I can scoot you over. Uh, so we're gonna alternate sides. So it's down, back, jump up. And then when I go up, then she goes down. So then if she's coming up, then I go back down. Okay. <laughs> All right, so then the next one is gonna be with these resistance bands. So before you had, you did kind of a, close, a little bit closer stance squat. This one you're gonna go wider. So it's more like a sumo squat. So we're hitting your legs a little bit differently. Bands are together, palms are facing in, wide stance to the squat. And what we're gonna do is one person is going down. So squat down, the other person is gonna pull back this way a back fly and then I go down squat come up and reverse fly down. make sense okay cool all right so the last thing is you're gonna come over to the agility ladder so the first drill you're gonna do three drills so the first one is gonna be high knees one foot in each box okay when you get to the end of the ladder you're jogging all the way back down to the beginning second round both feet are out you're jumping both feet in out, in, out, in, every box, okay? Come here, run to the end. Last one is gonna be in, in, out, out. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. All the way down the ladder, okay? Last time, run back down, then you get a stop. All right, so that's everything. You guys ready to do this? Yes. yes. All right, let's go. All right, so we're just gonna start with the basics. We're gonna start with 20 jumping jacks, all right? Couple more. That good. There you go, perfect. Good lunges. Good job. And
job, ladies. Thank you. Good job. We did it. <laughs>so hey thanks for letting me join you for your sunday night hangouts Welcome. i want to hear a little bit more about these diana and i have actually had multiple conversations <laughs> about the amounts of wine that's consumed on these evenings and alcohol and how hard that can kind of be for uh you know tracking her food and keeping her calories on point um but just kind of fill me in like what is what are these hangouts about how long have you been doing them what do you typically do when you're hanging out on these evenings well, we're all like career women, and so we're always like at work, and so it's nice to be able to come together at least once a week to you know, check in and have some fun. And yeah. we're never we're unwind a little bit. To, yeah. yeah, there's never an intention <laughs> to drink <laughs> so <laughs> much yeah. wine. There never is. Like, <laughs> but it's always yeah. happens to man. So, totally get that. And what we've been kind of working on is, you know, alcohol can be such a big uh, hindrance to losing weight um, you know like you said you get to that third glass and who knows how many deep calories you go at that point you know and it's it's hard to track too because every alcohol is different but um, that's definitely something I want Diane to be kind of pulling back on as she's prepping for the wedding because it's um, you know one of the big problems with alcohol is that it it actually prevents your body from burning fat. Like your body turns to the alcohol for energy once you have alcohol in your body. So it basically stops your body from using fat for fuel, which is one of the major issues with it. Aside from the fact that it's basically just empty calories, you know, like there's no nutrients there. There's nothing good for you. Um, you know, additionally, it, it dehydrates you. And you know, to some extent, like alcohol can fit into a healthy lifestyle. Like. It's a little, I've found from the more clients I work with, it's completely unrealistic to say stop drinking. You know, some people will totally do it. Most people, never gonna happen. So it's kind of trying to find those ways um, to fit it in where, you know, you don't get to the third glass where then it just, your inhibitions are gone, you know? And, and that's typically what happens. You are drinking a lot and then you start eating more and then you start drinking more and it's, you know, it's just kind of, and then you wake up the next morning with, how did we drink so much? And then you don't want to work out because you feel like crap. And so it's just sort of this vicious cycle. Part of it is just, you know, trying to work on like, like I've kind of talked to Diane about like, pay attention to how much you're drinking. Like rather than just keep topping off the drink, like, okay, it's my one glass. Okay, now I'm at my second glass. Now I stop. Like I've set a limit um, for the night once I get there. Um, you know, or finding other little tricks, drinking a glass of water in between each glass of wine or something to help you kind of slow down on the alcohol, which in general is just going to be so much better for your body, your health, in addition to your weight. But actually one really cool option that you have, um, there's a company that, called Be Mixed, provided us with three different zero calorie, sugar free, um, all natural mixers that you can use for drinks. So. I can pull these out and show them to you guys. So there is the margarita mix. There's one. <laughs> and then we've got the ginger lime mix. That would be me. <laughs> and the cucumber mint. I guess that's an option. <laughs> Sorry, called it. So these are actually really cool because they're made with stevia and monk fruit, which are both natural sweeteners. They're not these artificial chemically produced things that actually come from plants and are healthy and natural for you. Um, so these can be combined with, you know, you can just do like the soda water, tonic water, um, and combine them that way so it's completely virgin drinks, or with, you know, a shot of vodka or tequila or something like that. Um, so if you're, you know, dead set on continuing to drink, this is one way you can keep your calories down, like versus going out to a restaurant and ordering margaritas or mojitos or any things that are really gonna be full of sugar and you know who knows what, like you don't really know how people are making the drinks, you don't know how much alcohol they're putting in there, you know, like a normal shot of vodka could be anywhere from 75 to about 110 calories, you know, you have no idea. So if you can measure it at home, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, pour yourself like an ounce, put that into the drink and some water, then it can last you a little bit longer without calories and with all that, all that extra sugar and stuff. So, do you guys wanna try these? Yes. Yeah. All right. Nice 
think it will be. <laughs> so okay, you. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> and where's the extra club set up? So I got the invitations. Oh, oh, yes. nice. oh that's cute. Oh, this is really pretty. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a little something of me and Dave. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. I like it. <laughs> I did manage Paul? to get the David Paul. Paul in the, the image smaller. Mm -hmm. I like adjusted a little bit. Yeah, yeah. it looks good. Yeah, yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah. I'm at a conference this week, and I am going to have to try really hard to make sure I stay on track. Uh, but I wanted to share before I left, I jumped on the scale and I'm at 153 pounds. So, um, I'm over the moon. That's about the 10 pound mark. So, I'm ecstatic. I do. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm fitting into my clothes better. Like, everything is just uh, awesome. I'm, I'm so 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 excited and I'm motivated to keep going uh, it is gonna be a tricky week lots of lunch meetings and dinner meetings and um, you know convention parties and so I'm gonna do my best to be as diligent as I can so wish me luck thanks for watching this week's episode for this week's giveaway, we're gonna be giving away these B Mix mixers that you saw Diane and her friends try. There's three different flavors and we're gonna be giving away these boxes that have four containers of every flavor to one lucky winner. So here's what you have to do to win. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this video on Facebook or Twitter with hashtag fit and then leave a comment in the notes below for Diane sharing some way that you've figured out how to manage social drinking in a healthy way that can still be part of a fit lifestyle. Also, I wanna leave you with one tip from this episode. As you can see, having friends and community around you can really be helpful in the weight loss process. So if you're starting to lose weight, find a friend or find a gym, maybe a group exercise class, somewhere that you can get people to join in your workouts with you, keep you accountable, expect to see you there, and can really help to encourage you and keep you going when things get hard. We also wanna offer you a special 15% off discount code for anything from ProSourceFit.com. You saw the workout today that Diane did with a whole bunch of different products that you can do at home, you can take to a park like we did. Any of those things you can get off if you just use the code FIT4WED at checkout. Here's what you can expect next episode. This from today, we had in and out yesterday. Yeah, yeah. This morning working out, I felt a little more exactly. sluggish than usual exactly. just because I had fast food and I don't usually eat fast food, so. I am stressed, I go on a run, and if I actually don't work out, I get more stressed out, so. We'll take a little look at this menu. So this okay. place has got salads, it's got bowls, it's got tacos and burritos. Oh wow, this is like all packaged. Until next time, stay fit, stay healthy, and stay happy.